Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel Part 68. In the previous video, we finished up our task for the start of day two of our field study and then we learned that the Viscount has received a mysterious visitor and we're going to go investigate what that is. Now, um, I am recording this right after the last video despite saying I was going to stop. Um, Ended up realizing that I probably shouldn't record the other series because it's like at a, at a point where like I want to record for like that whole section in a chunk. So I figured, ah, let's just wrap, round out the day with a one last trails video. Might even go a little bit longer just because I've got like 90 minutes to record. So um, might just do like one long video. Okay. We don't, we don't recognize his bodyguard, so they're, they're not um, what I was thinking. There's no need to be hasty, at least give my proposal some thought. Your attendance would add an extra degree of prestige to our gathering. I'm really the lord of a minor rural region. Surely you overstate the importance of my presence. I'm guessing you're trying to recruit him. I mean, you're, he definitely, he kind of rubs me. He seems like he could be a Hiram's guy based on what we know about Patty, but we also know nothing about Cayenne, so it could also, that could be him. A man's worth is decided not by himself, but by those he rubs elbows with. And well, I'm sure you understand. I'd appreciate it if you didn't do any, anything to cause any unnecessary conflict. I'm not sure giving combat training to the Imperial Army is something you ought to be doing either. Okay, I'm feeling like this is the Cayenne guy. Is he supposed to be kind of like the leader of the, the nobles, is my understanding? After all, neither of us want any trouble now, do we? I... And with that, I bid you a fond farewell. Oh, and my compliments on the excellent tea. I am honored, Your Grace. See ya. Excuse us. Think that guy ever stops lifting? My, if it isn't young Laura. And you, Sir Salvaria, too. It's a pleasure to see you again, Your Grace. I appreciate all you continue to do for my father. They must know him. Yeah, but look how tense they are. I wasn't expecting him to show up, of all people. That's do okay it is. Duke Cayenne, head of the foremost of the four great houses and ruler of the port city of Ortis. His authority extends over the entire province of Lamar to the west. Also, now that I'm looking at it, that's probably Lemaire. I guess I've never really noticed the E, if I'm being honest. I'd love to stay and talk for a while, but I'm afraid other urgent matters call me away. I'll endeavor to arrange another opportunity for us to meet in the near future. But for now, I bid you farewell. Oh, what have we here? The Earth Thor's Military Academy is Class 7, huh? How do you... Huh, <laughs> I just happened to do a little leisure time reading on your class. Not a bad looking bunch. Good, good. Um. Enough of the chit chat. His grace awaits. Excuse us. See, kids. I'll beat you up. Who are those men? I don't like soldiers from a provincial army, that's for sure. They did seem to know about our class. I presume they're personal bodyguards hired by Duke Cayenne. Father. I needn't look so concerned. However, it seems like they've finally begun to act. Noble faction has been acting in secret? Well, yeah, Lore, you'd know that if you played the previous games before jumping ahead to Cold Steel. Indeed, for the past month, they've been quite inactive behind closed doors. No doubt they're trying to reaffirm their unity, holding conference after conference all across the country. Of course, I'm sure this is a news to your youngest classmate. Well, yeah. Intelligence Division's all on edge, wondering whether they're about to start a full-scale conflict with the reformists. S seriously? So that's what they've been up to, scurrying around all this time. But since Duke Kyan's basically the leader of the noble faction, I sure wasn't expecting him to come all the way out here in person. Nor was I. They appear to be planning a large conference in the near future to be attended by all members of the noble faction. The Duke came all the way out here to insist that I intend. But father, you're not even a member. Quite right, my lady. Your father has long kept his distance from the faction. In the same way, he has also kept space between himself and the reformists, preferring to remain neutral. However, they're convinced that all fat nobles should belong to the noble faction as a matter of course. I've heard they've been quite forceful about bringing those nobles who don't support the faction into their ranks. 
Would I be correct in assuming my family's involved in all this? I'm afraid so. There's been some disagreement over whether Duke Cayenne or Duke Alvarez should lead the four great houses, and I expect that either would bring the same platform to the table. Eusis? If you don't mind my asking, do you happen to know where my family stands on the issue? Who are you again? <laughs> you need not worry about your family's allegiances. Lord Schwarzer is widely known as an even more obstinate man than I. I can't imagine that he have any interest in supporting the questionable actions of other nobles. I see, I'm actually a little relieved to hear you say that. Hmm, hold on a moment. Perhaps there's a move we can make after all. I'm afraid I'll be leaving Legrand again on another one of my little trips. I apologize for the suddenness, but please attend to things in my absence. As you wish, my lord. Father? Wow, well that was sudden. I believe in acting swiftly and decisively. I intend to establish contact with all the nobles who remain neutral in the ongoing factional conflict. So as to prevent them from being taken in by the noble faction's course of methods. Ah. Father. A prudent course of action, I think. In that case, I'd be happy to come with you. Terrible, terrible. What are you doing here? Ah, so you're here as well. I <laughs> wouldn't miss the chance to catch a glimpse of the majestic Duke Cayenne. Do you know he left in a limousine that came all the way from Brayhard? What? Wait, then. It couldn't have been. Did it belong to the Alvarea family? Well, Rufus Alvarea got into it, so yeah, I'd say that's likely. Couldn't ask for a classier escort. And then the door closed and the car never never left, leaving the state of Erebonia perpetually soft-locked. That's not an evil look or nothing. So Rufus was here. Well, he is the heir of the Alvarez family. Considering our visitor was none other than Duke Kyan, it's not all surprising that Rufus would pick him up. But, I know you didn't just come here to volunteer your company on my trip. Well, it just so happens that these guys here brought me a pretty curious story. We got a confirmation that a mechanical monster appeared on the highway outside the Graham. Is that so? I believe it's the first time one's appeared since the counteroffensive Sir Cassius launched two years ago. That's right. Come to think of it, that was the first time we met, wasn't it? It was indeed. What a strange coincidence. Have any others been found in the area? Nothing so far. It's just a hunch, but I suspect it may have been released as a diversion. I concur. Hmm, perhaps giving you, having you come with me is the best course of action after all. Alright, that's what I wanted to hear. Father. It sounds like there's a lot more going on here than just factions butting heads. Bye. Can't say anything for certain just yet. But if we turn up anything concrete, I'll be sure to tell Sarah and she'll pass it on. Alright, here's what I got for you this afternoon. A golden catch? I ain't even gotta do it? Call it all fishermen! Could someone catch me the elusive golden salmon? No, I cannot. When you finished up for the day, appreciate if you could head to the guild and file your reports. I left you a note on the counter telling you how to do it. Nothing too difficult. Got it. Leave it to us. Just make sure to lock up for your leave for the night. Someone else should be coming in to take care of things tomorrow. Understood. We'll do our best to take care of the guild in your absence. I wish you well in your studies. I hope you'll forgive me for leaving so suddenly. Not to worry, Father. I'm used to it. Thank you again for your hospitality and for agreeing to a duel. I look forward to our next meeting. As do I. You show great promise as a swordsman. I hope you'll continue to devote yourself to your studies and training alongside my daughter. I'm honored, sir. In fact, I hope all of you will look past her uncouth father and continue giving her your friendship and support. As a single father, the fact that I have yet to hear any tales of budding romance concerning my daughter has me worried. Father! <laughs> it would be our pleasure. You sure to seem popular with the girls, though. I pray you have a safe journey. Thank you for all that you've done. Haha, <laughs> catch you later then. Give my best to Sarah. Why must he always be so... <laughs> Honestly, you got one amazing dad. 
Free-spirited, open-minded, not to mention incredibly strong. Having met him, I can tell you how... I can tell how you grew up like you did. Huh? <laughs> Reen's right, you know. You're living proof that great parents lead to great children. I suppose having someone like him in your life as a role model would naturally lead you to aspire to greatness. It's not that or feel woefully inadequate in comparison and develop an inferiority complex. You speaking from experience, Yusus? When all told, you're living proof the daughter of the Arsaid house has grown up since grown up sound in mind and body. Oh, what is that face, Yusus? Stop teasing me at once! M moving on, Tobal has entrusted us with looking after the guild. We may only have half a day remaining, but we still have our duties to fulfill. Look at her trying to change the subject. I am not. I will remind you, I have a rather large school sword. Okay. Don't go to the guild. Got it. I want to board the train. I'm a train fanatic, okay? I've been keeping it hidden all this time, but uh, the guy from Crossbell, Rex, his name was something with an R. He, he won me over. I both find the left. They sure were a rough bunch, but hey, at least I can get back to work now. Oh, do you have something for me? Hey there, Cindy. What brings you here? Oh, good day. Um, you wouldn't happen to have seen Tobal today, would you? I did, but I'm afraid he's currently out of town attending to some business. I, I see. Do you need something from the guild? Well, I really need Laura's panties. It's nothing too important. Well, Tobal did leave us in charge of the guild for the day. Oh yeah, and we're right here, so ask us if you need anything. That's right, helping others out is what the guild does, so that's what we're here for, too. Lady Laura, I can't simply ask you to give up your time for my sake. But if you insist, then I suppose... I happen to be looking for some luminous grass, you see. Oh? I can't recall ever hearing of such a plant before. I, I seem to remember hearing about some luminous grass. I assume it's well known here in the Gram. That's right, it's a rare flower that grows in the surrounding countryside. It has an unusual trait of blooming only on sunny days and only when the previous day was foggy. You made that up. That certainly is unusual. I'm guessing that'd make today an ideal day to go find some, then. That's correct. That's why I made my way to the guild to ask Tobal to find some for me, but as you just informed me, he isn't in today. I can't really go out into the highway on my own because of the monsters, though, so I'm at a loss of what to do. So, would you be willing to go and gather some for me instead? I mean, I, I suppose I could do that. Leave it to us. Really? Uh, thank you so much. I have a pretty good idea as to why you might want it, but allow me to ask. You're planning on making a charm, right? Uh, that's correct. A charm? In the ground, when someone you hold dear embarks on a long journey, it's a tradition to make a charm for them. Can you give them, give it to that person to take with them and it's supposed to bring them good luck? Wow, never heard of any traditions like that. It's a custom that stretches all the way back to the Middle Ages. It said it began when people offered charms to members of the Eisenrutter as they left for distant battlefields. Fascinating. So how is the luminous grass used to make these charms then? Well, the traditional way has you place one of its petals within the charm itself. Because of how the flowers bloom, people believe they have the power to clear away fog. And because of that, the flower came to symbolize victory over chaos. Wow, it's pretty deep. Yeah, that actually sounds like a really cool charm. Have you ever been given one, Laura? Well, she's about to. I have, actually. Cindy gave me one right before I left for Thor's. Syria and Chloe also gave me one. I keep them at my desk at the Academy, and I look at them, and it always makes me feel a little closer to home. They're some of my most prized treasures. Okay, so, I mean, if she's already given one to Laura, you don't need to give her another one. I mean, I assume that's who she's given it to, but... I'm so pleased to hear you say that. She really does care for Laura, doesn't she? I think we can safely assume so. Back to the luminous grass, though. What exactly does it look like? It's the only... It's the only flower with white petals that grows around here, so that'll be the easiest way to find it. They may be rare, but we should be able to find one if we search the Evil Highway. I've heard they're found more frequently at higher ele elevations. Okay. Alright. Let's start the search while we still have plenty of daylight. Yeah, it's time for flower power! Thank you very much. Uh, good luck. I've been searching everywhere for you two. What have you been doing here? Put a sock in it. We're not telling some dumb girl anything. Yeah, we're having a manly adventure, so you better step off. Fine, just do what you want. I hope some evil spirit comes and snatches you away. I mean, they might deserve it. How about you shut your trap? Girls like you don't even get to tell us what to do, alright? Aren't you a little old to be on the girls are nasty uh, train? You're gonna ruin our big adventure plans hanging around here. 
Ooh, this looks like a good spot. How do I fish? Where, or where do I fish, I mean? And we did get some ground bait, you know what? We'll do one beginner, two lake lords. We haven't used the beginner here yet, so just in case there's something. It... Not bad. Silver earring. Come on. Caught give me one. give me a whopper. Give me the biggest <laughs> fish the world's ever seen. I think you're new, maybe. Mm. Nope. What even is this? They don't teach you what fish are in uh Thor's or at Thor's arena. Life isn't easy for Chloe, it would seem. Perhaps because she's relatively close in age to Julian Carno. As a fellow admirer of Lady Laura, I'm rather worried about her. Okay. Ooh, there's a sale. There's a sale! Give me all your stuff for free. Lord Arsade has achieved unparalleled strength through his training, but he does make use of his great strength mainly for the sake of protecting his people. Some may say that status is the be-all, end-all for a ruling lord, but those of us here just don't agree. But you couldn't ask for a better man. Are there any wind spells to make? I mean, I may as well buy it. Just because then we have so much wind support. Here at the Lord left again, this time with Tobol accompanying him. Hmm, I wonder if it has something to do with that noble from earlier. Oh my god, we've got lots of dollar dues. Like, how do I make fried fish? Okay, let's make well I already got a lot, but it does it is our food item that heals for the most. And the pizza. The pizza needs powder. Wait, Reen, Re you didn't have the crown earlier, right? Maybe, maybe you have to cook it enough and then they master it? Is that how it works? Because we have cooked some pizzas in our time. Because, I mean, I, I really don't know how it works, to be honest. Okay, let's give this a try. Well, how about that? Okay. Okay, so let's let's look at something that is there anything so Reen is basically garbage at everything except pizza. He's a he's a man truly after my own heart. Like <laughs> I love that. Look, let's just say we wanted to cook some refreshing pasta soup. And we can't just make Yusus do it, right? Well, if I must. Done. You'll enjoy this. Yeah, like, okay, so maybe you don't know that they can make the unique ones until you try. Maybe that's how it works. Okay, that would explain it. Now, we've cooked fish with Laura. Have we cooked All right, with Gaius? I'll give it a try. <laughs> this turn. I'll do what I can. That came out rather... Yeah, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Um. Now we, we, we know how to make the super soup. Yeah, like I said, let's say we're going to make us some tomato sandwiches. <laughs> You're a funeral. Come on, Million. Whoa, this looks really nice. Huh? This actually looks nice. Million, what the fuck? <laughs> so maybe, maybe it's Machias is the one that like I, I don't know. I can't tell if it's just that they're hidden, or if it actually is based on like the amount of times you cook them. 
Because we only ever made the one coffee, right? And it, it worked for Machias. So it wasn't like he had to get better at making coffee. He could make good coffee right off the bat. I think. Bro, I don't know, man. Give me some grains. Since we used on most of ours. Everyone loves tomatoes. Everyone loves onions. Well, not everyone, actually. Most people... I think most people like onions. At least not, like, not to eat a raw onion or nothing. But onions are... One of, one of the better vegetables when it comes to complimenting food. That was an horrible limousine, huh? That was not exactly the kind of car you'd expect to see rolling to town. A bit worried about the effect a heavy vehicle like that might have on the paving stones and bridges. Guess I'll go have a look after it myself. <laughs> the grandma's by no means an affluent region, but we can all live rich, fulfilling lives thanks to Adios and the spirits watching over us. Can I peek at your notes? Okay, so let's uh try and do this fishing quest. Oh, uh, hello everyone. Have you come along after seeing the request I sent to Tobel? That's right. You're in search of some sort of elusive fish, correct? I am, I am. I feel like I should apologize for asking you guys to help me out with a personal request, but you up for it? You are, I can show the details with you all right now. You're in luck, our schedule just seemed, just happens to have an opening. Ah, thank you very much. Just like the request mentioned, I want you guys to seek out a certain elusive fish for me. It's a peculiar variety of salmon, known as the gold salmon. Just like the word says, its body has a golden glow, not unlike the look of the goldie itself. I want to see an exquisite fish. Haven't we caught one already? It sounds rather garsh, honestly, but I'd rather see it for myself to judge. Have you ever seen this fish before? Unfortunately, all I know is that what I've heard from rumors. Bim, who's usually fishing at the back of the inn, is actually the one who told me about it. Its golden color isn't the only distinctive trait either, it said. He mentioned that its flavor is to die for, too. Oh, who named got my attention? I'm afraid I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested in a taste myself. I'd certainly understand, but after hearing so much about it, I wanted nothing more than to try it. I've been bugging Tobel about it for quite a while now. And now it seems like, thanks to you, I might actually get my chance to try it. Fishing, huh? I guess bracers even take on jobs like this. This fish is so elusive, though. What are the chances we could even catch one for the day's end? That does seem to be the most obvious issue here. Is it even possible to catch this fish in Lake Ebel? Hell, we don't know. Doesn't seem so, unfortunately. Ben mentioned they did catch several of them here at one point, but he hadn't found one on the end of this line in several decades now. That doesn't exactly inspire confidence, you know? How would one go about catching it, then, and where? Well, I've actually received some promising info from Tobel to put me back on the trail. He claims he's seen a golden spark on the river along the highway several times now. All the sparkle sightings have been in different locations, though. Hmm, at least that narrows down our search to the river. Truly, really much easier than trying to search the lake. Well, we might be able to find it, then. I know it won't be easy, but I'd be pleased as punch if you did catch one. But now I think about it, do you have the right tools for the job? Sure do. Brought my rod with me. Will this work? Hmm, let's see what you got here. Rain, Rain showed, his, showed his rod to, to Weaver. My word, this is Lake Lord Company's highest grade fishing rod. The golden salmon is supposed to be quite a hefty fish, but catching it with this should be no issue. You must have fishing in your blood to have a rod this nice. Thanks for the compliment on Marine's rod. Allow us to make our way then. Yeah, let's go. Off we go. We are marching to the river. The river was like this way, right? We're also looking for some grass. Uh, ah, you are our mysterious person. I was wondering who it was, and I kind of thought it was Annabelle. But, uh... I didn't think she was going to show up as part of the fishing thing. That shiny golden glow. Oh, I simply can't wait to catch it. It seems like a good spot to fish, but I wasn't expecting someone to be here already. She seems to be an ordinary civilian and a noble at that. I'm surprised she stay, strayed this far from town. Did we try talking to her? Yeah, might as well. Excuse me, could we talk to you for a moment? Uh, who are you? Wait, I recognize you. You're that military academy student who saved me in my hour of need several months ago. 
Oh yeah, I think we did meet once before. Oh, so you know her? Yeah, we ran into her while we were out in Celtic on our very first field study. Now, I remember one of our tasks involved delivering a lost wallet to its owner. And it just so happened that the wallet belonged to this lady in front of us. Hmm, I see. I'm very grateful for what you did for me. Sadly, that wallet has become rather lighter since you returned it to me. Oh. Why don't we ask what brings you out here? I would have thought that was obvious. I'm trying to catch my dinner, of course. Some may think that fishing as a leisurely hobby, but I would beg to differ. It's proven to be an essential survival skill. I see. I don't remember there being anything like this from last time. What inspired you to come this far out of town to fish? You could have just sat on a dock in Legram, right? You could have, yes. Legram is conveniently situated right on the shores of Lake Ebel, after all. Truly, it wasn't necessary to brave the dangers of the highway to come out this far just to fish. That is where you're wrong, I'm afraid. A first-class angler needs a first-class spot. Easy fishing on the shores of a peaceful lake just wouldn't satisfy me. What is with this woman? He's uh, certainly grown up. She's certainly a unique individual. Sounds like you're after something special, I'd guess. Indeed, I am. I've come here seeking the elusive golden salmon. I've heard tales of it from a gentleman in Legrand by the name of Bem. But he also informed me that it cannot be found in Lake Ebel, which is what led me to this spot. And sure enough, not long ago, I finally caught a glimmer of a go glimpse of a golden glimmer beneath the water's surface here. A golden glimmer? That sounds like what Sobel said when he saw it too. Looks well, like this must be the spot then. I should have known that you would be searching for it too. Very well then. Let us compete to see who can catch a gold salmon first. That's not really what I had in mind when I came out here. That is how we do seem to have found our location. True enough, let's get fishing. Okie dokie. Oh my god, Ooh, he's this fishing. Looks like a good spot. The Lord of Fishing has logged online. Easy. You kinda had to mash for that one a little bit. Now that's a catch. No, we have already caught one, but um. Impossible. You got a gold sound before me? How can this be happening? <laughs> now you're making me feel kind of bad about it. Still, thank you very much for telling us about the golden glimmer you saw. You may not have thought the fish here if not for your guidance. Fair play is a necessary element in any competition. Think nothing of it. Besides, I simply paid the price for underestimating you. It was my fault that I lost. I thought my experiences over the past several months had shrank to me, but it seems I still have room to improve. I mean, it's kind of just luck, lady. Improve I shall until one day I'll be known across the land as the finest angler in all of Erebonia. And then, well then, until then, I bid you good day. Yeah, more, more power to you. You've given us the keys to the kingdom? Huh. That one I didn't have to mash nearly as much catch. for. I think it was smaller. Maybe that's why. Huh. Welcome to the squad. Cart bad. I thought my experiences over the past several months had strengthened me. Get him, Annabelle. I believe in you, girly. Ooh, that one looks tough. Can't tell if that's supposed to be a light or is that a flower? Cause that was like a gleam. <laughs> Any flowers around here? But they're white, right? You're a white flower. Oh my, what pretty flowers. They look so clean and white. Are these luminous grass? That they are. You can still see beads of dew clinging to them. The sunlight shining through the droplets makes the flowers shine. They're they're so shiny. Here, allow me. Alright, we should take this back to Cindy at once. Alright, let's not waste time. Oh, let's fight monsters. Don't don't do it, coward. Anything move in back where we fought the robot? No. <laughs> the eight leaves, one crate smashing style. This is 
is the right way, right? Yay. Run, Reen. Run like the wind. We have obtained the salmon and the grass. We'll turn in the grass first. Give me a charm. Welcome back, Lady Laura. I see you managed to find some luminous grass. That we did. Here you go. Thank you so much. Now all that's left is to make sure the petals don't wither away. I see you're wasting no time. You have a special man in mind, don't you? I hope he returns your feelings. Please don't misunderstand, Lady Laura. I am making it for a man, but there's no special meaning or underlying feelings there. I'm just doing it this way as a th way to offer my thanks to him. I guess it may be Toval? Your thanks? I don't ask what it is you're thanking him for? Well, you see, Sari and I were out on the highway not long ago, but somehow we ended up quite a distance from the road lamps. And it was just the two of you out there alone? That seems awfully dangerous. It was. As you might imagine, we were beset by monsters. However, one of the disciples of the R side school, oh, okay, happened to be passing by and saved us from our predicament. He escorted us both back to town, but as soon as we returned, he left for the training hall to resume his practice. So in the end, we didn't really have the chance to thank him properly. Sounds like a pretty cool guy. I like how he departed so gallantly at the end, too. True, it was very dashing, but still. I did feel terrible at not being able to thank him for his selfless deed. Soon after, I learned that the disciples of the R side school all... One day, leave Legram to return to their homes. So you decide to make a charm for him. Your heart's in the right place and your intentions are noble. I'm sure a disciple of the school would be more than happy to receive what we call the charm of promised victory. Yes, that's, that's exactly it. You understand now, Lady Laura? I'm deeply grateful to him, but you'll forever be the only one in my heart. Yes, I think I understand what you're saying perfectly. Do you really think she has no feelings for him, though? Not even a little bit? A maiden's heart holds many unknowable secrets. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I've yet to properly thank you for your help, so take this. Oh, hey. Did you make this yourself? I did. It's not the same kind of charm, but I put my heart into making it all the same. I wasn't able to make one for everyone, but I hope it'll come in handy on your journey. Ooh, this is pretty cute. Thank you very much. Imagine if you've been a sucker and bought one of those for $4,000 dues. You lose five arts, but you gain two speed and 10 art defense. I think that's worth. Did we ever actually go to the r side school now? Think about it. I don't think we actually came up here to talk to people. Never expected to see Duke Kyan out here. Victor's got it rough if he has to deal with a guy like that, I'd wager. Don't go worry yourselves about it. Just believe in him and focus on the work you have to do. Anyone want to fight? Ha! Hey, what's wrong? Come at me! Ha! Hey, is that all you've got? Guys, you're not moving. Did Master Osaid really have to go out on business again? Man, I was hoping he'd come and watch us train. But it sounds like he's as busy as always. I swear, he spends more time away from home than at it. Even if the Master isn't here, no, the Master's many absences are all the more reason we need to support the training hall in this place. I have to purge my mind of distracting thoughts and focus on my training. Now, what are the distracting thoughts? Okay, Klaus, buddy. What's up? Oh yeah, and Mr. Cook. I didn't forget about you. Those bodyguards the Duke had, him with, had with him were rather strange. They didn't strike me as the kind of soldiers you'd expect to accompany the head of such an influential house. Who knows? Maybe they weren't even soldiers. What? No, they were totally legit soldiers. I promise. I've been tasked with sending out letters to those who wish to remain neutral in the fa face of the factional disputes. While things may have become rather hectic, do not try to worry. Just keep your chin up and focus on the remainder of your tasks here. Any cats around here? I see no dots. I assume no cats. Let's go turn in our salmon and then hit up the Bracer Guild. Hey there!
there, everyone. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that the legendary gold salmon you have there? Find all the odds, it actually is. Here you go. Green handed the salmon over to Weaver. Oh my, it's so beautiful. I really can't thank you enough. It's even more splendid than in Bem's Tall Tales. I got another one. Now I can see why people like it. It's, just, it's appearance to Goldia, too. So, you're going to cook up for us? Really, now? Uh, so you're as curious about its taste as I am. Naturally, I have every intention of sharing the taste with this triumphant catch with all of you. As for how to bring out the finest flavor, river fish tend to be best suited to grilling, so... Just wait a few minutes while I fire up the grill. I'm kind of looking forward to this now. And I think we got some food from one of our morning tasks, too. It feels like we've just been stuffing our faces today. And so it was with that. With forks held high, they dug in and enjoyed the fruits of their labor. Well then, what do you guys think? Where do I even start? Well, the amount of fat was perfect. Sublime, even. Agreed, I never even imagined it would taste this exquisite. I'm glad to see my earlier skepticism was not was wholly unwarranted. It's hard to believe that this was just grilled. Yeah, I didn't even think you could get a fish this tasty. Glad y'all liked it. And even I was surprised at how delicious it was. Just melted your mouth. I feel like it's my duty to share it with the rest of the town now. Once I got to put in another request with Tovel. I'm sure he'll gladly accept. Yeah, once he hears about how good it is, he'd have to be crazy to turn down the opportunity. You said it. Honestly, though, I want to thank you all again for your help. Unfortunately, all I can offer is stock from the store, but please take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. The, the herb, the tomatoes alone, that's like 2k. The rest are pretty cheap, but you know. Well, the shells I think you can't buy, but... Thank you. Good day, then. I plan on serving the remainder, uh, remaining gold salmon to our new customer. The only question now is whether to grill it or boil it. Ha ha ha! Where's the old man at? Well, I guess that's it from us. Can't think, I don't think there's anything else to do. Did we go by house two? Ask Claude to go find Carno since he still hasn't come home for lunch. I swear that boy gets naughtier by the year. Raising a boy certainly isn't for the faint of heart. Eh, plenty of people have done it. Alrighty. I think it is uh, time to return to the guild. Make sure we turned in all our quests. Seems, seems like it. And who's this? Oh, the boat finally left. Oh yeah, it was your bim. All right, now the question is, do we get to go to the castle or not? I don't know. I mean, you kind of have to, right? There's been so much foreshadowing. Should we head back to the guild and start filling, filing everything away? Meant to, meant to return. Thus, the members of Group A brought their fruitful day of work to an end. Following the instructions Tova left them, they began the not quite as exciting process of filing the paperwork. Oh, are you finished? Yeah, we just finished getting everything sorted out. Goodness, that was exhausting. A little brat, you could at least try and help instead of lying around like a house cat. I can't say I'm surprised. I'm not used to spending this much, this long on such exciting tasks. Oh well, we're almost finished. <laughs> Alright then. So it really goes to show how top rate Tobal is. He fulfills a lot of requests on his own. And still it's time to handle all the day to day realities of running a guild branch. Indeed, it's even more impressive when you consider that he finds time to visit other regions of the country as well. His mobility and knack for solving problems are exactly what one would expect from a bracer. 
Field may have been forced out of the country, but he's still out there trying to help as many people as he can. Even when we were in Berea Hard, he came to our aid. If you look at all these records, it's clear that the people really trust him and rely on him for help. That's very true, but... Is something the matter? Nah, I was just thinking, what if we went to that castle, man? If France is playing a central role to the people of other countries, are they not just as essential to Erebonians? Well... You may be right. And not just because they help maintain public order and provide other services. The I that ideal, protecting the prioritizing the protection of civilians above all else, is pretty noble. It's something people admire. That's certainly true. In many ways, it's that form of nobility that's begun to fall by the wayside within Erebonia's aristocracy. I'm not sure the issue is as black and white as you'd have it. Guild is an organization first and foremost, and one based far too much on idealism and far too little on practicality. Donations and public funding can only go so far in covering its operating costs. It's no stretch at all to say that with the empire as it is now, the guild's removal was inevitable. That's what my brother said once when we discussed this. Yeah, well, your brother's a dick. Sorry, to, I mean, I, I know he hasn't been revealed as a complete dick yet, but it's going to happen. Usus. We're gonna find him in his Darth Vader getup, and he's gonna be like, oh, uh, this is just for my cosplay. Looks like his brother is, is weighing heavily on his mind. I suppose that's another way to look at it. I have to admit, it sounds rather cold and dismissive, but it does carry more weight coming from Rufus Al Alborea. No. No. Milliam! Look at that, she doesn't have to be awake to be an irritant. <laughs> anyway... Looks like I shouldn't take too much longer to finish filing the rest of the reports. We should focus on getting everything done and returning to the mansion. Sounds good to me. Hey, excuse me, is anyone here? Okay, the kids went to the castle. You're the girl who works at the store, aren't you? Oh, Lady Laura, is, is Tovel here by any chance? I'm afraid Tovel's out of town on business at the moment. Is something the matter? They haven't come home. Julian and Carno still haven't come back from the castle. Wait, you don't mean... Those two go into Lohingrin Castle? Surely you don't mean to suggest they took a boat without supervision. I'm afraid so. They said something about going on an adventure, then they took one of the boats without even asking. It's evening now, and they still haven't come back. Sounds like a serious problem. Yes, and right when Tobel's away from the guild, too. We just have to do whatever we can to help out. I agree, we can't just stand around and hope they'll come back. If we're to search the lake, we need a boat ourselves. I'll have Claus prepare one for us at once. When you do that, I'll wake up Milliam, and we'll see... And we'll have another look around the town to see if we can find them. Cleaning up and searching the town does seem to be the best course of action. Alright, gang. Look for clues. But thank you. Rest assured, we'll do all we can to find them. The group searched the town from top to bottom, but they found no sign of the missing children. By the time the other residents had become aware of what was happening, evening had given way to night. I'm just almost knocked over my water bottle. I think it's safe to say the boys aren't in town. It looks like they really did head out towards the castle on a boat. The lake's been calm. There's no sign of a boat on the water, so at least it's so at least it's unlikely they capsized. It was at least the castle then, right? Hinkin Castle was once the stronghold of the Eisenritter. And while the Arside family is still in stewards, it's rare that anyone ventures inside. I hope nothing terrible has happened to them. Their parents are really worried too. I've asked them to stay at home and wait for us to contact them, but at this point, all we can do is venture into the castle and see what we find. We have use of a boat now, do we not? Yes, a couple of students from the R-Side school are preparing an orbital boat for us as we speak. It does worry me that it started to grow misty again, though. I don't know, man. Last time we took a boat ride to a castle, uh, the whole world almost got destroyed. Well, let's head down to the wharf. Let's make sure all of our equipment is sorted out and we have everything we need, just in case. Right, let's hurry. So here's the question. Do I think we can get by without upgrading Gaius and or Laura's equipment? I think we can. So far this chapter has been fairly straightforward. I think we save our mirror for the next chapter. I've prepared a boat over the wharf for you so you can leave whenever you're ready. 
Good luck out there, you guys. The atmosphere surrounding Lohingan Castle is rather strange tonight, but do take care out there. We shall be awaiting your swift return. I had to look myself, but I couldn't find them anywhere. Maybe they really did. I'll head the, all the way around. Got any more salmon, dude? Julian and Karna seem to have sailed off in my boat. I don't even care if they lost it at this point. I just want, the, want them to come back. It's locked. Someone seems to be staying here. Even I'm impressed by this bounty of today's catch. At this rate, it's only a matter of time until I perform a professional angler. I guess someone's staying in this room. We don't have any business with them. Calm down, Sven. Lady Laura and her friends are making their way there, so let's just wait for them to return. Well, they don't seem to be moving. They're just going around talking to people. I can't believe this. Where is that stupid son of mine? Son's already said, hurry up and get back here. Oh, adios, oh spirits of Legram. Please ensure that those children return home safe and sound. You should be praying to Reen. Please be safe, Julian. He may be clumsy and silly and utterly hopeless, but even then, he's still my brother and I love him. Please find him and bring him back, everyone. It doesn't look like they've returned from the castle yet. This is this is all my fault. I never should have said I hope they get snatched away by evil spirits. I didn't think it would actually happen, though. Don't worry, Chloe. We'll bring them back safe and sound. There's no need to blame yourself, okay? Okay. I mean, it is their fault. It's not your fault, Chloe. Besides, I'm confident Lady Laura will bring them back soon enough. Now, come on now. Let's believe in her nobility and grace, okay? I myself looked up to the eyes in Ritter when I was a lad, so I understand just how Julian and Carno feel. That's no excuse for making us all worry like this, though. Please do all you can to find him. You can be sure there's a righteous scolding in store for him, too. Stoning, right in the middle of the town square. They haven't come back yet. Something's definitely happened. All this fog that's rolling in is more cause for concern. Please make sure you're all prepared for heading out. Well, there's this other house. But please calm down. Um, keeping a cool head is important in times like these. I can't believe it. I told them so many times I have to go near the castle, too. Wolf, wolf. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Wolf, wolf, wolfies. I mean, I assume there's no one in the cathedral, but we'll check. We've gone the entire town looking, but there's still no sign of them. I always used to come and peek into the training hall thinking back on it. I guess they really must have wanted to learn the way of the sword. Hey. Chef man, we're going on a dangerous journey. Please teach me how to make amazing food. No? Okay. Actually, we saw him downstairs, or back in the town, didn't we? As much as I'd like to assist, leaving the manor empty is not an option. Do be careful, everyone. I pray that you'll all have a safe trip. Did we see Claus down there? I don't think we did. No yellow dots. Well, I guess that's it. Time to go. Oh, there you are. The atmosphere surrounding the castle is rather strange tonight. Do take care out there. We shall be awaiting your swift return. The pretzel remains. This fall has got me rather worried, truth be told. Hopefully it doesn't hang around here for too long. I see the old boat has been prepared. My lady. Yes, we just finished getting it ready for your departure. So this is an old boat, huh? It looks like kind of fun. This hardly seems like the time to be getting excited for a boat ride. 
I've operated all my boats before, so I'll steer us to our direction. To our destination. Alright, we'll leave it to you then. My lady, please wait. I, I still feel that we ought to be the ones going out and searching. We sh you shouldn't have to trouble yourself with matters like these. I appreciate your concern, but as the Viscount's daughter, I feel this is part of my duty to the people of the Graham. Also, we're probably going to fight a big monster, and you can't handle it. It also happens to fall under the scope of our field study. Can't deny that. We'll do all we can to support her. You needn't worry. Very well. I doubt there's going to be anything more I can say to get you to change your mind. The last patrol of the castle was just a few days ago, and there was no sign of anything unusual then. It shouldn't be that dangerous. Really? The wind blowing from the direction of the castle does feel pure. Said the castle's atmosphere is cold and clear due to its connections with St. Sandlot. It's highly uncommon for monsters to settle there, so the children are most likely safe. Although it's impossible to rule out that an accident may have befallen them. Either way, we need to get over there and find out as soon as possible. I'm ready, dude. Get to pardon. And please take care, my lady. I and the other students will be awaiting your safe return. Students waiting on students. Look at that. Thank you. I promise that whatever out there will take care of it. Okay, okay, let's get the show moving. I mean, you could just fly there already if you wanted to. And then get your ass kicked. So what do you think's waiting for us inside that castle? So, you passed out on the couch the moment we returned to the guild, but now you're simply popping with energy? William, you know this isn't a game, right? I know, I know. But as long as Lamey's with us, there's nothing to worry about. Let's just grab those kids so we can go exploring. Um, Million, he doesn't seem nervous in the slightest. Oh, evil bell! Did you guys just hear a bell? Yes, it came from the direction of the castle. Well, the Hingon Castle does have a bell tower. As far as I was aware, access to it had been sealed off. Um, then who's ringing it? A spooky ghost! A bell tolling at night in the old stronghold of the Eisenritter. We'd best be prepared for anything. We're almost there. Let's make sure we're prepared before we head ashore. Well, here we are. Hey, do you think that's the boat the children took? I can't imagine who else it would be. At least they appeared to have reached the castle safely. And it's safe to assume they went inside as well. It's well past sundown now. We need to find them as soon as possible. Looks like that path will take us up the cliff. Right, that path will take us to the castle's entrance. Mind your footing though, the night is dark and the trail uneven. So this is St. Sandlot's old stronghold, Lohengrin Castle. Lohengrin, okay. This is the first time I've come here at night. Be careful of your footing. Whoa, what's that? Something strange about the castle. Is that glow just the moonlight? It do be rather blue. So maybe there's not monsters, but there might be some higher element demons in there. So this is Lohengrin Castle, the ancient stronghold of Saint Sandlot, gathering place of the warriors of old. It looks even more beautiful up close. Yeah, but what's up with that weird glow? I've been here several times before, but I've never seen it like this. Yeah, but you haven't ever been here with rain, and wherever rain goes, there's trouble. I can sense a very strange wind blowing from within. It doesn't feel like monsters, though. Hmm? I can feel it, too. Like something is writhing around inside. It's a super bone dragon. Wait! What kind of something? A ghost dragon. I feared as much. I can definitely sense the presence of the dead. Emma? I'm alright, but we're going to need to tread carefully in there. And uh, if you hear uh, slow shambling things talk about brains, uh, don't worry. Right. There's no telling what may happen when we venture inside. We should make certain we're ready before entering. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Are we still, our formation still set up and everything? All right, frickin' send it, dude. You wanna step to the rainster? You better be prepared to 
get your ass beat eventually. There's something very strange happening here. Let's make sure we're ready for whatever we may find inside. Should we be going right away? I mean, you guys already asked me if I wanted to enter on the boat ride, so... I mean, what else am I supposed to do out outside? Ah, ancient healing machine. What a quinky dick. It won't budge. Did the door just seal itself shut on its own? You, you stupid door! Lammy! Bust it open! Well, that was unexpected. Was it though? So not even Eric Gatlam can break us out of here? Emma, use your magic. It appears that there's a barrier in place. What kind of barrier? Yeah, is it time for you to fucking spill your deets and get your S break? Are you talking about that strange symbol that appeared on the door for a moment? How would you know something like that, Emma? Well, I've always had a pretty strong sixth sense about these kinds of Quit things. Quit lying. So sometimes I can sense things that aren't visible to the naked eye. A uh, sixth sense? Hmm. Fascinating. Come to think of it. This isn't the first time you've reacted strangely to unusual phenomena. Eustace has a point. I've heard that people from the church can make use of some strange powers. So are you a sister of the church or something? Uh, I'm kind of the opposite. Oh, uh, you got me! I've always been a big supporter of the church! I'm not sure what you're getting at. You know, Millie, if you want to, like, turn her get them into a big hammer and whack her upside the head, I wouldn't object. Emma, just... who are you? Ah! What's that sound? It's the bell we heard earlier. Something's approaching to the left and the right. Just learn your S break. Oh my god, it's a demon. Ugh, monsters, is it? No. These are no ordinary beasts. But we're going to have to fight them all the same. Bring it on! I like how Milliam's like... My her, turn! She's like terrified. You're weak to water, weak to space. Pretty much resistant to everything. You know what you're not resistant to, though? Um... Uh... Don't let him hit you with the crit. Oh, Lord, they coming. All right. Okay, you can maybe arc slash that guy, or impede, can, do you have anything that impedes? No. Take this. Okay, they have like no Open. HP. Go. I kind of assumed they were like tanky. There. Very well. He's got plus 50% accuracy. I actually despise this game. Know your place. Yeah. yeah. I could have impeded now that I think about it. Oh moon, shield us crescent shell. Leave it to me. <laughs> my turn. I'm that's, I'm losing my freaking mind. They both have plus accuracy. Looks like we beat them. <laughs> Are you alright, Milliam? Oh, what were those things? Mysterious spirits. Though perhaps it would be more appropriate to call them fiends. Either way, they were no ordinary opponents. The higher elements seem to be present here as well. And I suspect that's true of the whole castle. Yeah, it did feel that way. Though I'm still not sure what the ringing bell from earlier has to do with anything. <sighs> This place seems to be even more dangerous than we could have anticipated. And as long as that barrier remains in place, so will we. We're going to need to search for a way out. Okay, Emma. It looks like we're going to need to rely on this sixth sense of yours in order to navigate this castle safely. Uh, it would be a really good time for you to learn your S-break as well. You don't have to tell us anything if you're not comfortable. Right now, our safety is in your hands. Can we count on you? Yes, of course. All right. Then time is of the essence. With fiends like those roaming the castle, 
I'm even more worried about the children. True. We should start looking right away. We're going already! Can't we rest here a little longer? <laughs> Those fiends scared the strength right out of your legs? No! That's totally not it! You're more than welcome to stay here and wait. Yeah, we don't have to use you. Whoa, waiting by myself would be even worse! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can find. Right. Also, Milliam uh, communicated telepathically back there. Thank God! Is it any good? It probably won't even be that good, but okay, it does hit everyone with a triple S rank, and it's magic. Was it was it that so hard? Did we really have to wait 70 hours before you learn your basic ability? <laughs> Let's get this over with. All right. You're just... Take this. I've been fighting for my freaking life this entire game, and Emma's over here like, oh, maybe Second one of these four. days Damn. I'll learn to use my super ability. Go! Here! Very well. Know your place. Yeah. Okay. What all do you know again? Firework here. Arcus active now. Leave it to me. I think they're like actually pretty tanky. Here we go. Ha! My we turn. Could try and set up a link attack. Now we've seen all the ones with Reen though. I'm trying to think, which one, have we seen? Uh, I leave this to you. Understood. I put you in. Don't don't whack just yet. It's my turn. Can you handle this? Come on. Okay. And this does have extra unbalance, but I feel like it probably just straight up one shots. So link with Laura. There. Hey, My yeah. turn. Did absolutely nothing. That's that. Let's keep moving. That was all part of my master plan. I didn't realize he was burned. Barrier seals the way. Doesn't look like we can pass through. We need to find somebody to open it. You need a key to dispel a barrier like this. We should start looking. Ha! Ha! Gotta find the moon and the star orb. Ha! Ha! Uh, Bring it on! It's a bunch Monster. of hole in it, just dude. Oh my god. They've been blizzard. Ah, you! Uh, I'm done for. My turn. Why are you just such a turbo piece of shit? Uh, okay. Bro, I don't know any time spells. Huh? My turn. Burn to F. That's that. Let's keep moving. Great! Friggin' assholes. I hate instant death, man. It's like one of my least favorite mechanics in games. This castle has no shortage of strange ha! foes. Perhaps ha! they really ha! are go- ha! Oh, you're gonna whack. You're we'll have to what fight our the way through. frick are you talking Go. about, dude? The second floor. Damn. Okay. Don't it's even talk to me. Oh, you actually do get rewarded because usually, or in the past games, whenever you banished enemies to win a fight, you just didn't get anything. Look, there's something over there. It used to be some kind of pedestal. Probably should have switched our party members back in. And there's some sort of orb sitting on it. You think this is what we're looking for? Indeed, I suspect this orb will disable the barrier to the door on the castle's east wing. And it's probably a good idea to take it with us. But you know, there's something else I'm curious about. Oh yeah, it's the it's a blue door. The same one. Wow, that's one huge door. I've had my eye on it ever since we entered this room. Doesn't it look more than a little similar to the door on the fourth floor of the old schoolhouse? 
You're right, it looks like a lot like the red door that giant armor was hidden behind. I seldom visit the castle, so I'm afraid there's not much I can tell you. There's always the possibility that children might have gone inside it. We should check it, just to be sure. Hey, okay, get me. I should have switched to our party in, in case there's a fight. It doesn't seem like it wants to open. It seems as steadfast as the wall around it, if not more so. That's true, I can't see any signs that the children might have gone inside either. We should probably move on and check somewhere else then. Makes you wonder though, how did a door like this come to be in Lagrin Castle to begin with? A lot younger? I can't remember how they say it. They don't put emphasis on, they put, I can't remember, did they put emphasis on the H or did I put, I put emphasis on the H. They don't put emphasis on the H. Even the patterns on it are like the ones on the door in the old schoolhouse. Odd as it may seem, perhaps they are connected somehow. We did theorize that the old schoolhouse may be connected to Emperor Dracos in some way. Saint Sandlot was Dracos' foremost ally and on close terms with even him, with him even before he became the Emperor. It's not implausible that there may be a connection there. Well, whatever secrets this door may hold, it's a dead end right now. We should turn around and look elsewhere. Might I suggest the door we passed earlier, the one that we sealed that was sealed shut with a barrier? As astute as always. I saw you in the cutscene. Don't think you can hide That's from me. That's a beautiful looking treasure chest. We lose evasion. You get extra arts. Oh, ho, 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 ho. welcome to monkhood, buddy boy. And our formation still. I guess we'll probably just like go long like I said at the start of the video I don't have enough time to record another video so I think we'll just kind of let it go long okay I'm getting the link attack with Laura and Million. you cannot convince me that I'm not going to get it leave it to me very well. It's my turn. Yeah. Leave it it to will me. happen. No. My turn. I leave this to you. Understood. And you don't have mana, but that's okay. You don't need mana. Mana's for the weak. That's what I always say. You have my thanks. Yeah. And then you. I'm sorry for the trouble. Come on, Lammy. Switch Switching the milster. Asshole, you know that? Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Uh. My turn. Arcus, act up. Million. <laughs> All right. Of course. My turn. Don't do 298 damage. There. Too slow. Okay, it's safe for now. Sit. I'm not mad. Wait, that was your back? The second four. Damn. All right. Okay. Now keep the one with 500 alive. My turn. And you, just a, a little love tap. That. Well, that's that. Let's get. Nice. I'm gonna beat you up, Milliam. We're gonna fight. Alright. Didn't really there. Here I go. Didn't really want to do that, if I'm being honest. Let me give it down, you come! No more chance! An opening! My turn. Huh? Leave it to me. Okay. My turn. You're gonna you're gonna do too much damage. Huh? But, oh my, my god, the, I forgot about the death blows. Hi. I can't, I can't fight these guys and risk the death blows and lose all my CP. All right, fine, whatever. We're just never going to see it. We're never going to see that link attack, okay? You know what? You want to play hardball game? I can play hardball. Here's the hardball I play. It's called Get the Hell Out of My Party. Don't ever talk to me again. 
If you want to S break, you're f you can do that. Well, I should have disabled the barrier here. What an unusual me mechanism. This castle seems to have an abundant supply of use unusual things, to say nothing of those ghostly fiends prowling around. It uses, don't say the G word! He's a spooky, I mean, come on, we can call Gaius by his name, can't we? <laughs> I don't see what's so scary about Gaius. Well, at least we should be able to push further into the castle now. There may be similar mechanisms elsewhere in the castle, so keep an eye out, everyone. Bro, just let me fight the boss. No! Winds, give us your blessing. My turn. Burn that. Don't I'll ever this. talk to me again. <laughs> How pathetic. <laughs> okay. Bro, why can't I time at all anymore? And by I'm, the US is all part of my master plan? Did we get some seals? Here! You're finished! Leave it to me. You could savage Fang, but that'd probably straight up kill, which I guess is fine actually. I actually didn't kill. Okay. Yeah. Very well. All your CP That's belongs that. to me. Let's keep moving. So I guess something we can kind of briefly talk about, um, since we're in the Saint Sandlot Castle, and um, kind of that that idea that I think I kind of mentioned a few videos ago about like, wouldn't it be cool if uh, C was actually Aryan Road? I do oh, still think that idea, ooh, Firebell. I do think that idea still would be cool, but like it doesn't really make any sense, uh, if, I, if I'm being honest, just because like if their ultimate pl plan is to use the railway guns, then uh, there's not really much reason, like that doesn't really job with what we know about her, right? Where she's kind of has this, this sense of honor and everything, but I do still stand by. It would be very cool. In all honesty, I really think the most. It's a fight they want. I do Leave still like the idea of the C not being a name but standing for count. Um, which is, I don't really remember if Rufus is actually considered a count because, like, he's really my main, uh, like, suspect of who could be in the the Mr. C guy. I mean, it could just be someone that we've never met previously, but I assume it's probably going to be someone like Incognito. I think we just go for this. Take this. Really, no one balances. My turn. The fattest Gale of all time. I would like the fattest Gale of all time. Second form, Gale. You know, here's what we do. I uh, should have rushed. It's my turn. Let's use Laura's new Understood. ult. Understood. I guess I don't really know if it's new, but or if, I don't know if it's the same, but let's try it. Okay, it does have a bigger AOE now. I kind of want to kill the swords first, and that one's movement and strength is down, so it's not a big threat. She said something different. Uh, maybe she didn't. This basically this. Oh, I don't know. Maybe there's a little extra sauce in the end there. I kind of forgot Very she well. has the uh, the plus CP thing as well, so that basically just paid for her ult almost. Bro. Here we go. Stop. You My cannot turn. defeat Cream. Yeah. 
I shall fulfill my duty as a noble. What is that? Uh, get money just by existing? That should suffice. <laughs> I did it! Ooh. That's a master course right there. I remember that. Absorb magic attacks. I'm still not entirely sold on this one. Um, the stats are very... I mean, they're very balanced, but also kind of mediocre. It's one of these where, like, I feel like whether or not this is good depends a lot on the bonus abilities. So how, how are these coming along? Greens is actually getting fairly close to leveling up. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay. Alrighty. Um, we don't know how to get that chest, but... I really don't want to fight you, sir. I got no death perception. It's my turn. That's the that's the problem, man. It's all gone. Take this. My turn. We we've lost all depth perception. Burn it. Very well. Know your place. Now. Do you really live with one HP? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Leave it to me. I gotta, I gotta object to that. <laughs> I go where the wind takes me. Alrighty. An external corridor. We must be on the north side of the castle. We've gone pretty far inside now. I hope the children are safe. Give me the chest. Is that a treasure chest? Treasure bolt. Oh, he slippery when wet, boyos. <laughs> probably, probably heal Reen while I'm thinking about it. Guess we can use your mana that you don't have. I mean, there's a barrier over there. So let's check out this way first. Is this our item? It is our item. Celestial Bomb. They're not as useful anymore, but they're still almost a full heal on some of the characters. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right Nothing hand. Nothing but trouble. No, no, no. No, 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 no not what a thrill. Is this the way I came? Bro, just let me sneak past. Just let me sneak right past. Bro. Go. Second form. Gale. Yeah. Dance, play. Master Flair. Oh, we should be safe now. Just let me sneak right by you. I don't know. Is there anything else to, to mention? Just the. The, the C guy, I feel like he's probably Rufus, even though I do think the idea of it being Aryan Road would be very cool. Um, just with all the kind of foreshadowing that's been happening in regard to her. I don't really, like, it's the biggest thing that's, like, would, would make that unlikely is probably the, uh, the, the idea that they, they want to use the railway guns, which I don't think really drives with what we know about her. Plus, I mean, granted, and plus, I don't think Erebonia, or not Erebonia, Ouroboros is all that, in, like, involved to that degree with the, uh, Liberation Front. I mean, we don't really know to what extent they're, or what they actually did in the Empire. We just know they were active in regard to the Civil War effort. And probably, and also, they would probably support the Reformists, since, uh, they previously aligned with, uh, what's his name? Osborne? Hey, those are... This isn't good. Man, it's like we're back in Crossbell. J Julian! Go away, you monsters! 
The Great Knight Julian will never forgive you if you hurt Karna. Okay, the Great Knight Julian has decided to graciously offer you the life of his squire Karno. G Goddess, please help us. Stand back. Oh, Lord, she coming, dude. Um, that's not how that move works. That's supposed to suck people in. Laura! Thank goodness you're both safe. But we're okay. More fiends, and they don't seem pleased that we've robbed them of our quarry. We can do this. Just don't let them near the children. I mean, they are pretty easy. Blow them away, Lammy! Bring it on! I mean, as long as they don't just one-shot the kids on the first All turn, right. do we actually have to protect them? We don't. Man, thank God escort missions are dead. I always did hate them. Take this. No. Got it. Bro? Here we go. Hey, I think you uh, think you go for a little, little spicy arc slash. Bro, what the fuck? You didn't... Um, can we, can we discuss what the hell is going on here? I feel okay blaming Emma for this. Rise, great towers. Oh. It's kind of like a super version of Galleon Tower. Lord of Marion. Rest in peace. <sighs> Pretty cool, not gonna now. lie. I like the like the sh the appearance of Celine there. I mean, it's a Gaius's fault. He didn't AT delay them. Looks like we took care of them. You're not hurt, are you? No, we're okay. That was so cool. You guys are also strong, just like the Eisen Ritter from the old stories. Considering their predicament, they don't appear to be any worse for the wear. <laughs> well, as long as they're both unarmed. Actually, I think both of you have something to say. Huh? Um. Oh, right, uh, thanks for saving us. Slap the shit out of him. That's not what I meant. You stole a boat and entered property that is off limits to you without telling anyone where you were going. What do you think would have happened if we hadn't come looking for you? Who would have saved you? Do you have any idea how worried your parents and everyone else in town are about you? I... Laura... I I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. You realize what you did wrong. I have nothing further to say on the matter. I admire your bravery, stepping forward to defend Karna like you did. But you're still young and inexperienced, like I am. It's one thing to aspire to the qualities of a knight, but no good will come from rushing to that goal. Right, I I'm sorry. Th thank you for coming to us, everyone. Don't worry about it. Try to be a little less reckless in the future, would you? Eustace, are you actually embarrassed you got thanked by a kid? Hush, you impotent brat. <laughs> well, we found them and they're safe. That's a huge relief. Now, all that's left is finding a way out of this castle. Hmm, come to think of it, we couldn't even enter this room until we disabled the barrier. So, how did the two of you get inside? Uh, when we first came in here, everything was normal. We were on our way to the top floor, but as soon as we came in here, everything there was this sudden pale haze everywhere. Then these strange circles appeared on the doors, and we couldn't open it anymore, and we didn't know what to do. We ended up locked in. There doesn't seem to be any other access to this room either. It seems as though if we want to leave, we'll have to deal with whatever's causing all this. Surely there must be some way to disable the barrier on the front door. Hold on a moment. Actually, there is. It's called a boss fight? Emma? I can sense something coming from the top floor of the castle. A mysterious energy flowing out from there like a wellspring. What? You can sense something like that? 
Well, more or less. That's not the only clue we have to go on right now, so we might as well go up and take a look around. Maybe it's Neva. It almost feels like she's starting to be more forthcoming with her insights. What about the children? We can't just leave them here. Better just take them with us then. Absolutely not. There are enough of us that we should be able to keep them safe. Don't tell them what kind of danger we'll run into, but it makes sense to bring them along so we can keep an eye on them. What do you two think? Would you prefer to stay with us? Uh, hell yeah! I feel safe with you guys. Very well then. Fine, I suppose we'll take responsibility for your safety then. Alright, let's head for the top floor then. Let's have ourselves a look at that source of that mysterious energy Emma was talking about. Let's be on our way then. You tell Yay, me you kids... Treasure! You kids have been trapped in here and you didn't think to open the treasure chest? You don't deserve the treasure. And what is Raka Shaka? Bro, that's really good. It's like really, really good. I think that's good enough to justify getting rid of Nightmare. I mean, 20 extra strength to green is jacked. And then who do I give? I mean, I wouldn't mind giving that to someone else. What was it again? That we just had equipped there? I can't remember. Oh yeah, Nightmare? I think Nightmare's move is nice. I think we can give it... Yeah, we can give it to you. Because we don't really... I mean, Dragon Vision's just there for the strength. I don't really care about the passive. Oh, you already have something equipped on that. So take this. Take a nightmare. Take an attack. Bro, Reen is just... Unbelievably jacked right now. Alrighty. Um, there's nothing here. Let's just keep on keeping on them. We did use a lot of our CP there, but uh, it basically had to happen. This looks like now's our chance. Leave Let's it to me. Him. Doing this more for the sea pizzle than anything, if I'm being honest. How do you know again? Arcus, activate. Here we go. That's kind of like the, the goal of this fight here. Get some CP back on everyone. Arcus, activate. Very well. So like don't don't kill anyone. You could just like disable them. That'd be good too. Okay. You don't, none of you guys know Impassion. You know, here's the play. No, I kind of want to keep you in. Take this! Ha! Ha! Leave it to me. Okay. I got low movement. Ha! It's my turn! And then you, uh... I don't know what to do, man. I don't, I don't know what to do with you. I guess you just stay there. Don't vanish me, dude. Here we go. Thank you. The second form. Damn. Yeah. Oh, I really don't want you getting the death blow. Bro, what the hell? Leave it to me. AT delay works here, right? It does. Gotta gotta spend some CP to make some CP, I suppose. No. Got him. <laughs> they must the winds be, must be on our side. Great. Nice. Making. I just, I mean, I assume we're about to get to the boss fight, so I want to go ahead and have CP. Now this is like a super ordinance, so that's probably, I mean, our boss fight up there. Don't have enough time to do it today, um, unfortunately, so we'll probably stop here. I might get like a little, I mean, I want to at least have like a, 
I want to at least have a hundred on everyone just because the, the game's so much easier when you can use your S crafts right from the start. I am Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.